So this uh, this is a painting in the, in the series of painting of arms and weapons of mass destruction, and it goes in with the bombs and other things and the military vehicles. Um, I made this painting for an exhibition in which none of the walls were wider than 70 centimeters. So this is 60 centimeters wide exactly for that for that reason. Um, what I like about this painting is that this point here and that point over there, they they just hit the edge of the painting and it gives it that really nice tension. <laughs> and there's actually the drone has pretty much cut the background in half with his with its wings. And if you look closely around the corner, you can you can see beautiful detail around there, which is really nice. And it's those little details that are crafted into the painting that make it live. And it's a, it's a very mechanically involved piece. It took me a long, long time to, to get the mechanics of the canvas right. And I think it pay, paid out um, the, the way it's cut into the canvas. And, and if you turn it around, the way it's engineered into it, it's, it's, the canvas is nearly prettier from the back than from the front. So, um, it, it, it was a fair struggle to make this, uh, but uh, and also the, the 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 way the level of precision when it comes to the painting. I had the, I had the drone to a point where it was really photorealistic and and, and and really nice and tight, and then I had to loosen it all up again in order to make it appear more realistic in some funny way. So it's. It's the, the, the roughness around, around these edges there, it just looked totally wrong and it looked infantile and, and, and silly. So it's one of my favourites and I use the, 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 the Toile de Jouy fabric um, as, a, as a symbol of innocence of life yeah, and a cultured and traditional lifestyle which doesn't quite fit in with the drone. Um, but I'm in, I'm in two minds about drones, really. I'm, I've, 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 there's people who find drones like uh, 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 find drones of an affront to humanity. I don't see much point, much difference between some bloke hiding behind a rock in a desert and blowing up a vehicle via an IED, or whether some bloke sitting in Wiltshire and blowing up a house via a drone. It doesn't make much difference. It's just. Warfare, warfare in itself is a pretty horrible thing. But I like, I mean, those drones, they're, they're kind of elegant in some ways. They've, they've got a beauty about them. There's, there's beauty to be found in, in some of the most weird objects. And the, the way that they're illogical, the way they, they don't look right, because the, the tail fins, they go downwards, not upwards. And they're just not right in some funny way. They just look wrong. And I, I really like that about those. So, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a really interesting object. And how much talked about it is, it's, 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 it's very odd, very odd, very odd. When I, sometimes when I make those paintings, then I start making them and I start planning them. And then a week later, they're all over the news. And it's happened several times in my paintings. I, I, I paint a picture of Margaret Thatcher. And whilst I paint her, she dies and I paint a picture of drones. And whilst I paint them, they appear all over the news. And people think that I'm reacting to news, but I'm not reacting to news. I'm, I think I'm generating it whilst painting. So, so, so I'm actually doing something. Maybe I should, maybe I should paint the downfall of the coalition government. Might help. There's lots of strange little quirks around these things. And that, that, that work, that's, that's it. I think it's a, there's a lot to it. There's a lot more in this painting than meets the eye. Like the, 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 the way it's painted, the materials that I've used and the, the, the messages that I'm putting across. So it's, it's one of my favourites. That I, I really like having it in this particular space because it works it works against the wall and it, work, oddly, it seems to work within the colouring of the, the space, the, the, the whole way it works together. Just like when I've just noticed the uh, the, the, the canvas, the, the linen that I used to paint, which 
I was going to bend over anyway, but it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a linen fabric. And when you look at it, it matches. <laughs> it just happens to match the wall. We chose we chose the paints in a way to, to reflect the gold and reflect the blue, but then you realise the canvas actually matches the walls. And it's kind of like really strange little things happening when you're showing work. And it's, it's also, it's not a sterile environment here. It's, just, it's a workspace. People walk through and carry boxes of crisps around and, 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 and walk in and out. And it's, it's, it's nice to exhibit work in a space where people actually are. And where it's, really, it's important to me that people see the work rather than just a load of experts.